You're Dr. Brown. On the night that I go back in time, you will be shot by terrorists. Please take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. In the 1985 classic Back to the Future, at a scene called the Twin Pines Mall, we will bear witness to a sudden surprise terrorist attack, perpetrated by a group of Muslim terrorists. The attack is at the Twin, which is a reference to the Twin Towers. When we turn the sign upside down, the digits on the clock read 911 or 911. The Twin Pines are a symbolic representation of the Twin Towers. Before the terrorist attack, the Twins are present, but after the attack, the Twins are gone, replaced with a single pine. This takes place on 9-11, where the Twins are destroyed and replaced with a single tower, the One World Trade Building. Also at this scene, Doc shows us two stopwatches, both of which display encoded 9-11s. Is this only a coincidence? The pines are the towers, and this symbol system is confirmed in Back to the Future Part 2, where we see the twin pines appear again on a projection movie screen in Marty's future house. Marty's family gathers around the movie screen, and the twin pines actually morph into the twin towers. This is because the twin pines are the twin towers, the pines are the towers, Pines, Towers, and the Twin Pines Mall is the Twin Towers Mall, which is why all the clocks here secretly say 9-11 and why there will be a Muslim terrorist attack resulting in the destruction of the Twin Pines or the Twin Towers. But the appearance of the towers is not a random backdrop, as we can see the Statue of Liberty lurking just as secretly as the towers, making this scene a secret recreation of New York City, where Marty's family has gathered to stare at Ground Zero. Of these three characters staring at Ground Zero, one of them is completely upside down. But in the entire Back to the Future saga, this is the only time when an upside down character will ever appear. The hint being given here is to observe the scene from his perspective by turning it upside down. But when doing so, the Twin Towers are clearly shown to be falling down. In the entire history of cinema, this scene of Back to the Future is the most literal depiction ever made showing the Twin Towers falling down. So how is it possible that this scene would occur in a story that already contains a terrorist attack by Muslims at the Twins on 9-11 where the Twins are the Twin Towers, which then execute Hollywood's best depiction of the Twin Towers collapse? But Back to the Future doesn't just portray this attack, it develops into an elaborate warning about it. I can just go back early and warn him. I have to tell you about the future! Doc, about the future. You will be shot by terrorists. But Marty is carrying more essential information about the future. He knows the exact time and date that a tower will be struck. Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Don't forget to take a flyer. Save the clock tower. In a story we already suspect of being a 9-11 warning, how is it possible that this phrase appears on a flyer telling the future? Then, when the tower strike takes place, a giant flaming 9-11 is ignited in the street. Save the clock tower. Marty knows exactly when and where this tower strike will happen because it's all written on this flyer and placed in his hands but something lurks in the background overseeing this transaction. But why does this symbol hover while Marty is forewarned about the tower strike? Back to the Future was written and directed by Robert Zemeckis, first released in 1985, but to depict the future, Zemeckis chose October 2015. Hi, Doc, what's going on, huh? Where are we? When are we? October 21st, 2015. 2015? The Twin Tower scene takes place in October 2015 and the towers appear on a movie screen, meaning the McFly family is watching a secretly placed Twin Towers movie released on October 2015, directed by Robert Zemeckis. So how could it be that now, in the real October 2015, a major Hollywood production is about to hit theaters worldwide and it is exclusively about the Twin Towers? It happens to be directed by Robert Zemeckis. The title of this new Twin Towers film is The 
Walk, and this new Twin Towers film has the exact same release date as the secret Twin Towers film Planted in Back to the Future, which exposes the symbolism of the pines and depicts the Twin Towers collapse. So why would Zemeckis now draw our attention to it with a major Hollywood production? Back to the Future was released in 1985, The Walk in 2015, exposing this warning after 30 years. Marty writes this warning into a letter. He seals it shut, intending for it to remain hidden for a specific amount of time. What comedy of this? You find out in 30 years! 30 years. What comedy of this? You find out in 30 years! The walk is the reveal of the 9-11 warning, given to Doc while he is rigging a giant wire to the twin tower representing Clock Tower. Evening, Dr. Brown. What's with the wire? The Walk is about a plot to rig a giant wire to the Twin Towers. So Marty records the warning while Doc is rigging the wire to the tower. Marty tells Doc he will understand the warning in 30 years. Find out 30 years! 30 years later, the director makes a movie about rigging a wire to a tower, the Twin Towers, because the warning within Marty's letter is about a terrorist attack at the Twin Towers. What's with the wire? What's with the wire? What's with the wire? What's with the wire? After rigging this wire, the tower strike takes place, and a Marty McFly from the future runs out onto the scene. He has just time-traveled here from October 2015, the release date of The Walk. But in The Walk, standing on top of the Twin Towers, is Marty McFly. This Marty has arrived here from the exact date where this Marty is standing. The plot of the walk is the tower wire rigging event that just took place at this scene. One Marty is standing on top of the Twin Towers, while the other Marty stands inside a giant flaming 9-11 in the wake of a tower strike. While simultaneously across town, another Marty witnesses a terrorist attack take place at the Twins, which are actually the Twin Towers, a fact we learned from the secretly placed Twin Towers movie released on October 2015. This movie is actually The Walk, which is why it has Marty McFly standing on top of the Twin Towers. What comedy of this? What's with, what's with the wire? What's with the wire? Okay, relax, Doc. It's me. It's me. It's Marty. No, oh, I can't be. Just sent you back to the future. Yeah. No, I know you did send me back to the future, but I'm back. I'm back from the future. The consciousness portal is opened by touching the 2001 monolith, the movie screen. As touching the two-dimensional screen dispels its three-dimensional guise, revealing how the images it portrayed were not actually real. To touch the monolith is to be freed from the fabricated narrative portrayed on the screen or by film, finally seeing the illusion employed to paint audience perspective into a box. The screen as the 2001 monolith is present on Ground Zero in the form of the Millennium Hilton Hotel, which was intentionally built to mimic the 2001 monolith, the movie screen. As Marty opens this portal during the 9-11 scene splice amalgamation, he makes contact with the illusion by touching film via the film booth at the exact moment the portal opens. Then by touching film via the movie theater at the exact moment the portal opens. Again, to open the portal, Marty must touch film via the movie screen at the exact moment the portal opens. Touching the screen, dispelling the illusion, opening the portal while enacting the 9-11 archetype. What comedy of this? You find out in 30 years! It's about the future, isn't it? It's information Wait a about the future! I warn you about this, kid! The consequences could be disastrous! Doc, that's a risk you're gonna have to take! Your life depends on it! No! I refuse to accept the responsibility! In that case, I'll tell you straight up! <laughs>